Good morning, Bridge Bible Church. I'm Glenn Merrill. I'm the pastor at Fremont Alliance Church. And I just want to say thank you on behalf of our entire church family. Thank you so much for partnering with us in ministry. Uh, last week, we hosted a day camp at our church uh, for kids in our community, uh, children from kindergarten through fifth grade. And um, we've done BBS at our church for years and years. Uh, but last year, we had the first opportunity for us to do a full day day camp. And we found it helped us to connect with the, the families and the kids in our community at a much deeper level. And uh, so this year we wanted to do it again, but we, uh, we faced a few challenges. So I reached out to my son, David, and uh, we talked about it, we prayed about it. Uh, the idea of having some of your students come as a, a missions opportunity and help us out. And let me just say, we would not have been able to do it without them. Uh, they brought so much energy and uh, so much love. And our folks were just amazed at uh, the character of these young people. Uh, you guys, I just want to say uh, thank you again. And uh, we were just so impressed at the way that we saw Jesus working through you. Um, you, the way that you loved on these kids, uh, the way that you demonstrated uh, Christ to them, uh, it was just a, a beautiful thing. Uh, we had 71 kids at our camp, and uh, by the end of the week, we had 14 first-time decisions for Jesus Christ. And a lot of that is due to you letting Jesus work through you. And so again, I say thank you. Uh, Bridge, uh, if we ever have the opportunity to switch roles and help you out with a, a ministry opportunity like that, uh, we'd love to do it. Uh, but again, on behalf of uh, our Fremont Alliance Church family, we just want to say thank you and God bless you. Morning, everybody. Uh, so, uh, for those who I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, uh, my name is David. Uh, I am the youth director here at Bridge, and that guy uh, is my dad. Uh, he is the pastor of my home church, Fremont Alliance Church, uh, and that is where I was able to lead uh, our teens uh, this summer in our missions trip. Like uh, my dad said, we uh, put on a day camp for them, uh, kind of in place of their VBS, so uh, just a couple things I want to recap uh, before uh, we're going to play like the camp video and then I've got some uh, some teens who are going to come and share some of their experience from the trip uh, but uh, so we went uh, on July 15th uh, through the 21st you know we got there on like a Saturday uh, into Fremont just kind of getting the lay of the land uh, this whole trip kind of stems from my experience uh, before coming here at Bridge uh, working at a camp called Beulah Beach and so for about five years or so uh, I was so incredibly blessed uh, to work at Beulah Beach and work uh, on a team, a ministry called Beal on the Road, and so what we would do, uh, we would just go to like different churches each week and put on camp, uh, kind of like VBS uh, on steroids, sorta. Uh, and so um, that's what we did uh, at Fremont. But we we got there, got the lay of the land, went on a church tour. We were able to sit in on a service uh, at Fremont, which is awesome for me because I haven't been to my home church in a little bit. Uh, we got to see some baptisms while we were there, and then Monday through Friday. Uh, the work was on. So if anyone here has like no camp experience uh, or anything like that, so just a breakdown of what our like daily kind of hours were uh, for camp. So we got to the church every morning around like eight o'clock uh, and we didn't leave until around seven uh, each night. So uh, campers come in at like nine in the morning and they're there until four. So we're just with kids uh, all day long running around going crazy. Uh, yeah, there, that right there, that picture is actually everybody who was involved uh, in throwing this whole thing together, both for Fremont and uh, us at Bridge. Uh, but yeah, our teens like did an awesome job. Uh, it takes a lot of energy uh, to be with kids and being up and running around and going crazy for that long. So I'm I'm very uh, blessed that I was able to take uh, some of them to go. We had our team was uh, 11 members, nine of those were students, uh, and so. 
again, a, lo a lot of those kids, we had uh, some doing different roles, but uh, the majority of them were with a grade group like all day helping and co-leading, co-counseling uh, for the camp. And so uh, it was just a really special trip for me uh, to get to uh, go back to my home church, do camp, something that I, I love, and to see uh, our teens just serve and be the church so awesomely. Uh, yeah, my dad kind of alluded to it, but everybody, uh, I'd have people from my, my church coming up to me all throughout the day while I'm running from different thing to different thing and just saying, like, man, your guys' kids, like, are awesome. Uh, we could not do this without them. Uh, they are just such strong leaders, and they are 100% right. Like, I, it was so awesome for me to see uh, God working through our, our young people, uh, and helping to lead even younger people uh, to Jesus. So, uh, yeah, we had, like my dad said, over 70 campers, uh, what was that, I think like two weeks ago on this trip. That was uh, over double what they had last summer when uh, Beulah, uh, my team at Beulah, came and did camp. So just that alone before the, the trip had even started, like seeing God work and just doubling the number of kids uh, that uh, he was able to reach uh, and Fremont was able to host during that week was awesome and then we got to see before camp started one of our campers uh, my cousin get baptized so another just awesome work that God was doing before we'd even started uh, was incredible to see and then uh, my dad said uh, mentioned it but 14 uh, campers gave their life to Christ on that trip and I don't even know how many like rededications or anything we had like that, but just the fact that 14 uh, little ones made that decision for the first time to say, I want to follow Jesus, uh, is awesome. And again, yeah, clap that, that's awesome. And like, again, just the fact that it was our young people helping and leading and being in those conversations. Uh, to lead those kids to Christ is awesome. I've seen a lot of counselors uh, and worked with a lot of counselors over my time at Bula, and I'm not just saying this because they're my students, uh, and I'm afraid Dave's going to stop paying me. <laughs> uh, but like seriously, some of these kids, like they are kind of like better than some of the counselors I've seen at Bula. Like they are seriously incredible. So they're uh, wandering around in these blue shirts. Uh, and if you have the opportunity, you're going to hear from some of them in just a little bit. Uh, but if you have the opportunity after service to just like dap them up, give them a fist bump, high five or something, just like encourage them and the fact that they did awesome uh, a couple weeks ago and that like, again, they are the church right now uh, and they are moving. Jesus moved through them. So with all that said, I'm going to hop off the stage and we're going to roll the camp recap video. And then after that, I've got about three or four uh, students who are going to come and share just a little bit about what this trip meant for them. Uh, but yeah, if you could just direct your attention to the screen, uh, just get a little bit of a look at what went on at camp. <laughs> Even when we hit the ground Even when we look around 
around and we're afraid You will always pick us up You will always rescue us You are always there to trust You never fail Let's say go We're gonna tell the world Tell the world that you're alive We're gonna shout the name that brings us back to life Let's say go We're gonna tell the world In the darkness we will shine We're gonna shout the name that brings us back Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, hello, if you do not know, my name is Rowan Smith. Um, I am just recently graduated. It was an honor to go on this trip. Um, we are the four people that are going to be speaking today. Um, the first thing I want to say is like, Fremont Alliance Church, it was just, they were all very encouraging the entire time with us. Um, especially like uh, the leader I was with, her name was Barb. She was always this great encouragement to me throughout the week. Uh, nothing but kind things to say. Um, the kids were great. Um, it was awesome. I used to match uh, that guy's hair, actually. He was in my group. So we bonded over that. Um, but nah, it was just a great experience to be able to bond with all the kids and see those come to faith. Um, in my group, I had three come to faith. So that was, that was amazing. And we had one uh, re-profession of faith. So I thought that was amazing. It was fun to do it with all these amazing people as well. It was fun to do it with you too. <laughs> well, well, this is a little new for me. Um, well, hey, my name is Titus Smith. I'm his brother, her sister. And this camp trip, <laughs> oh, if you didn't know. <clears throat> so... So this camp trip was really fun. Um, I was able to make lots of connections, and I love meeting new people and just getting to know them. And the kids were great. They're, they had lots of energy, like lots of the time, which was a little challenging at times, but it was really great. And listen, last day was just something else. Saying bye to everybody, I was like, dang it. I really hope that we do this next year because some of them were like, hey, are you going to be here next year? Do you go to church here? And I'm like, no, I'm like two hours away. But yeah, um, I think the trip for me was very nice because working with all the kids kind of helped test me in patience. Um, but it, it was good and it was fun and I loved it and I would definitely do it again. Um. All right. Uh, hi, my name is Eliana Smith. Um, I'm the sister. Um, uh, and I'm actually a college student. Um, so, um, uh, you know, over semester, I really was like, I feel like God's calling me to maybe go somewhere. Had no idea where, you know. Um, and so uh, 
uh, David and I um, got connected, and uh, he was like, hey, like, do you want to maybe come? Uh, so I was coming as like more of um, the female leader position, so that was new for me um, and a little scary, um, <laughs> but I was really excited for, you know, this new opportunity, and um, there are so many ways that, like, so many stories that I could tell, like, that all of us, I'm sure, um, could tell of just seeing God move and seeing the Spirit move, and it was crazy, like, because I think going to a place like that, you think, I don't know if I have all the words, like, or, you know, you have maybe a lot of thoughts in your head, and you're like, I don't really know how to get all of those out, um, but really, honestly, it's just presenting those kids with the truth and kind of letting and watching the spirit work like we um we had several campers that just watching them learn about who jesus is and what that looks like was amazing um and four of my campers um in our little wild third grade group um uh profess um christ as our savior so that was amazing to see um and humbling too because i think sometimes uh, even like josh was saying earlier like you're like can god use me like am i usable can i um, can I love these kids like Jesus does and show them who he is um, and how he loves us? So um, that was awesome. And uh, getting to, you know, drive the girls down, have a little bit of a girls drive back and forth and get to know them and all the students. And um, one of my favorite things that we did um, while we were around there is we did like a worship night, um, you know, after the campers were home because we're, you know, we're at the church um, for a little while after. And it was really an important and good thing to just reconnect with Jesus and worship him um, in the quiet, but also like together. Um, and it really was a huge reminder of like, okay, why do we do this? Like, why are we, um, why are we telling people about Jesus? And it's because of who he is in the relationship. Um, yes, it's totally about eternal destination, but it's a hundred percent about the relationship with God the Father, and that you have direct access, and so that was really amazing to, you know, see and learn, and, and see and watch all of us as a team kind of get to bond and learn about that, so, yeah. Hello, um, my name is Emma Weesey, and I got to work with the first graders this week, so it was really exciting working with a bunch of seven-year-olds. They had a lot of energy. Um, I was trying to pick a favorite moment from the week, and I really couldn't. It was just such a good experience, I think, for all of us, um, getting to serve in a way that maybe we've done here, but um, for kids that we don't know, getting to meet them, getting to know their personalities and see them just open up to you, it was um, just so cool. Um, probably the most memorable thing, though, um, on Friday, the gospel was presented, like, in our big group time, um, and every day we had a small group time as well, where you kind of got to um, just talk more with the kids and explain. Um, and my adult leader was gone that day, so it was just me. Um, and even though they were too excited and energized probably to listen to anything I had to say that day other than that, um, they really listened. It just really shocked me. And um, a few of them did raise their hands and pray the prayer. And um, at seven, it's hard to tell. But I was so honored that I got to plant those seeds um, and just be there for that. It was really cool to see. Um, yeah, it was just a really good experience, and I encourage anybody that has the opportunity um, to volunteer for missions to just do it because it is such a good experience. So, yeah.